Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by Lois Arts. My name is Emmanuel Okafo. So as stated in my last video, I'll be, I said I will release a second video continuing the disintegration effect inside Blender. So in this particular video, we'll be using the same technique to create another effect. And that effect is basically destroying object like a rigid body simulation. So advantage to this process is it's very non-destructive and it's very fast to set up. So we have this nice rectangle that will be acting like our skyscraper in this instant and I've created a simple animation of this ball running into the building. So we want to destroy this building as this ball hits it. So let's set it up. We'll just, um, before we continue, you want to make sure you have very evenly distributed geometry. The reason for that is when using Blender Particle System, it works better if you have a very evenly distributed geometry so you can distribute your particle system more accurately. Okay, so let's just go and add a new particle system. We want to set the end frame and the start frame to zero. So we're, we're getting everything from start. And also, we want to, for the lifetime, we want to set it to 250 because that's the duration of the animation we have here. And we want to also check on modifier stack. Okay. Um, finally, we want to go to the physics and switch it to none. So we just have the particles being displayed. It doesn't have any um, motion or it's not affected by gravity. Cool. So once you've done that, we're good to proceed. Now we go to the modifier and add an explode modifier and just click on cut edge and we are good to go from here. If we play this animation, nothing happens. That's because we need a kind of um, solver to be able to play this animation. So the solver we'll be using is Blender Cloud Solver. So as you can see right now, it's just falling down and it's been destroyed um, but we want an instant where it doesn't move until we want it to react so to do that we'll just turn off the gravity so it stays placed till something hits it and finally you want you can leave the settings as it is because the default setting especially with the bending model set to angular um, works perfectly for this instance because the angular simulates a very um, more rigid material than the linear bending model. Okay, so we are almost good to go. We'll just switch off the particle display and set it to none. And now if we play this animation, we get our destruction. Okay, so if you want to get more chunks out of it, um, you can either subdivide it more inside um, or add more emission. Um, since this emission number of um, particles works in conjunction with the number of vertices or the size of a geometry, um, one way to still have a non-destructive workflow is to add a subdivision modifier and set it to simple and we can move it above everything. Now if we play it, we should have more chunks. So the higher the most the higher the subdivision, the more uh, stuff you get So as you can see we have more chunks, so let's make it look like brick or we'll just add the solidify modifier and Pull it down inside inwards Okay, uh, let's add create some material Okay, so how you can set up the material is just create two material and you can shuffle between anyone so we're good to go. So I think we're having some reaction here. We can fix that by making sure it's not really touching the plane. Okay. Now if we play it, everything should look perfect. And if you add smoke and add more particle react, um, reaction, you have a very nice simulation. Yeah, so that's basically how to create um, destruction using blend, Blender Cloth um, Solver. 
Um, finally, let's animate the gravity because as I said, we had to turn off the gravity. And you can do that by just basically animating it. So at this frame, we can insert it and here we add, set it to one. Or we can even set it to two, to two so it falls down faster. And yeah. Let's play that again. Everything just goes down from here. But anyway, so you get the gist. Um, we don't need the gravity for this instant. Cool. Um, there are also other techniques um, that you could use to, like, for example, we, we just want it to affect this area so we can restrict the rest um let me hide this for example we only need it to affect really affect this area so we can um make that stapled by going into weight paint and let's create a new butters group and I hope Blender doesn't crash on me. Okay, so <laughs> um, yeah, so you're going to um, add everything to the butters group. So we have like a red paint, and now we can paint out the areas we don't want to be affected by the simulation. So let's get the subtract brush. So and the blue place will be will be affected and the red part will stay will stay put. So you can have more control over everything. Okay. And now we can add it to the explosion batteries group. And if we play that mission again everything falls down because we have gravity enabled um you know what i'm not gonna put it here i will just put it in the pin group what is that the shape pin group so it should work much better So you will even get this really cool reaction. And now you can actually animate the gravity and it's going to behave awesomely. Yeah, so that's basically it, guys. Thank you so much for checking out this tutorial. I hope you learned something or two, or at least it was fun to watch. Um, if you wish to see more from me, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the like button simultaneously. Um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now. See you next time.